subscribe to our youtube channel and press on the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming videos hello everyone in this video we'll study about acids and bases in detail have you ever wondered why lemon tastes sour this is because of citric acid present in it acid is derived from the word acidus which means sour Acid is further classified into two types that is natural acid and mineral acid. Natural acid is obtained from natural sources therefore also known as organic acid. Cit example include citric acid present in citrus fruits like orange. Next is mineral acid. It is obtained from minerals therefore also known as inorganic acids. Its examples include nitric acid HNO3, sulfuric acid H2SO4 and so on. Next category comes base. Base is bitter in taste and slippery in nature. Soap we use every day for washing is a base. Next example include baking soda used in cakes and pastries. Now to study the concept of acid and base Three theories were given: Arrhenius concept, Bronsted's concept, and Lewis concept. First, let us know about Arrhenius concept. According to this concept, acids are those substances which releases H plus in water when dissolved. Examples include hydrochloric acid, hydrofluoric acid, hydroiodic acid, and so on. These all when dissolved in water release H plus therefore are known as acids and base is a substance which release OH minus in water examples include sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide and so on because when these will be dissolved in water OH minus will be released next is bronsted lowry concept according to this concept Acids are proton donors and bases are proton acceptors. Proton refers to H+. In this example, we can see HCl being an acid donates its H+, and forms Cl-. And OH- being a base accept H+, and forms H2O. This Cl- formed from HCl is known as further conjugate base and this H2O from, from, formed from the base OH- is known as conjugate acid. Next is Lewis concept. It is based on electron pair. According to this concept, base is a substance which acts as an electron donor and acid is a substance which acts as electron acceptor. We can see Nitrogen has a lone pair present on it and being a base, it donates its lone pair to BF3 which acts as an acid and an adduct formation of NS3-BF3 further take place. Now we'll know what happens when acid and base combines. Acid plus base combines to form salt and water. Now this salt solution formed can be acidic basic or neutral. To know about it, a pH scale is there. It is used to specify how acidic, basic or neutral our solution is. This pH scale has a range from 0 to 14 as we can see. From 0 to 7 it shows acidic character and if it has a pH of 7 to 14 it shows basic character. 7 is the neutral point. Now when we go from 7 to 14 the acidic base, sorry, basic character increases and from 7 to 0, the acidic character increases. In this figure, we can see this HCl being highly acidic is around 1 pH and then our blood has a neutral pH which is as 7. Then our NOH is highly basic and our soap is slightly basic and this is the whole things given over here. Next, now we already know about its taste that acid is sour and base is bitter. But to identify a new substance, whether it's acid or base, we can't just taste it. 
as we know it can be really harmful to us so for identification of acids and bases certain indicators are there first is litmus paper you can see over here we can have two types of litmus paper in market one is blue litmus paper and another is red litmus paper when we dip this blue litmus paper in acid it changes to red color and when we dip this red litmus paper in base it changes to blue color next is phenolphthalein this indicator is colorless in acid and when it is in base it is pink in nature and we can easily identify next is methyl orange this methyl orange is red in acid and yellow in base so in this way we can easily identify whether the substance given to us is acid or a base that's all about acids and bases thank you so much